Hey guys, how you doing? <clears throat> As promised, you know, here's Wednesday's lesson. Oops, sorry, trying to get situated here. Um, you know, for those of us dealing with depression issues, self-hate issues, things like that, um, obviously, we wake up, it could be as soon as, as soon as we wake up in the morning, hating ourselves, right? Whether it's your past or just, like I said, you have depression issues. Well, today we're going to tell you why you should not hate yourself, you know, because God loves you, so, um... We all know the devil. He, he's a sore loser, right? He knows he knows he lost. He's going to try and drag as many of us down with him as he possibly can. And he's a master manipulator, a uh, master deceiver, all of that. So one of the ways that Satan will try to pull us away from God is to flood us with guilt. And it could be the smallest thing. Smallest little sin, and Satan's going to make you feel like an utter, total, complete failure. But, ah, see, here's the truth. Jesus paid the price for our sins. And as long as we truly want the forgiveness and we're sorry and we repent, you know, the definition of repent is to turn around, you know, turn around from our sins, we're good. So see, Satan tries to fill your head with lies. Don't listen to it. <clears throat> yes, we are born sinners and instantly marked for death the minute we're born. But see... Like John 3.16 says, God loves us so much that he sent his son to die for us, to spare us from true death. Because of his sacrifice, Jesus offers us a way out. You know, think of it as parole. <laughs> to stare death in the face and laugh. There are no words to truly describe just how much God loves us. <clears throat> God doesn't want us to feel worthless. We are worth far more than just a lot to God. Now think about those words for a second. We are worth far more than a lot to God, okay? Because God loves us so much is why we should not feel worthless. To think we're worth nothing is lies the devil put in our little heads, okay? We must never believe that because the devil is a liar. Here's some proof on how much God loves us. You know, it's proof because it comes from the Bible. Like an earlier lesson, the Bible's truth. You accept that as one of the things we have to do. You know what I mean? Well, you Free will. You can choose to accept it. That's a whole nother lesson. You know, like John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. That's right there sums it up. That That's how much God loves us. <clears throat> Second Chronicles 6.14 talks about, as it was for the Israelites in the Bible, God's love for us is never failing. Psalm 109 verse 21 talks about how God is always available, a ready and constant source of help in times of trouble. You know, some questions if you want to answer them between you and God, that's fine. But, you know, what are some ways that God has proven his love for us? Um... I don't know about you guys, but for me, I have three kids. Um, my sobriety, you know, there's a few things. If you sit here and think long enough, you'll you'll start seeing it. Um, how can we share this love with others? Well, that's an easy one. You know, talk to a stranger about God, Jesus. Um, even your fellow believer, you guys can sit here and, you know, when you have fellowship, talk about the wonderful things that God has done. Um, why should we share God's love? I mean, that one's a little obvious, don't you think? Because why, sh why should you be greedy? Why should I be greedy and have God's love all for myself? God's love is for everybody, you know, regardless of race, color, political views, whatever. No matter how bad things get, guys, no matter how bad we feel about ourselves, no matter how worthless we think we are, God's love for us and how much he loves us proves we are not worthless to him. And that's it, guys. May God bless you and enjoy the rest of your week, guys.